Hello everybody, this is Danilo from PeacefulAnarchism.com Out here in nature once again In the beautiful spontaneous order that surrounds us all Like a warm blanket <laughs> So I want to talk about One of the most celebrated rituals of statism and that is the presidential inauguration recently another sociopath took power another megalomaniac now sits on the throne and has the legal sanction to do what ordinary mortal men and women cannot do without committing a crime. People who assume these positions of power exempt themselves from the laws of morality that we are all subject to. When they print money, it's not called counterfeiting. It's called quantitative easing or currency creation. When they harass peaceful people who are ingesting substances into their body that they do not approve of, it's not called harassment, kidnapping, or caging of peaceful, innocent people. It's called the war on drugs. When they order mercenaries to go overseas and invade villages, bomb weddings, and family reunions, and torture men, women, and children who have done nothing. It's not called mass murder. It's called the war on terror. When you advocate for armed extortion to pay for boondoggles, it's not called theft or extortion. It's called taxation. It is not the particular person that sits on the throne that is the problem. It is the fact that the throne exists and the fact that it exists is a symptom of the confusion that most people have in believing that we need an institution of coercion and violence to organize society. That is the foundation of statism. That is its root. It doesn't matter who sits on the throne. It doesn't matter what color they are, what gender they are, what religion they are. It means nothing. All you have to do is look at the underlying philosophical principles that make up this institution and you will see what it is capable of. I don't advocate anyone be put into a position of power no matter what they say, no matter what promises they make no matter how pretty their rhetoric is. Because in the end, they're just a mouthpiece for evil. The President of the United States is a mass murderer, is a puppet, is the greatest criminal in the land 
the face of the criminal organization that we call the state. It cannot compete with the mafia. It cannot compete with private criminals. Because at least if a private criminal were to mug you with a knife in a dark alley, you can defend yourself and it would be justified. If the very same thing were to occur with an encounter with the law enforcement, that's not possible. You cannot defend yourself because all you would be doing would be encouraging the escalation of violence. The state thrives in violence. It bathes in it. It is the currency that makes it up. We cannot compete with the state in a violent way. We can only compete through changing paradigms, influencing ideas, spreading peace and compassion, helping people to understand that they are the masters of their fate and the captains of their destiny. They don't need a ruler. Rule yourself. That is all you should be worried about. No sane human being believes that their neighbor can rule them, direct them, tell them what to do, has better judgment in various life issues. But for some reason, when people call themselves senators, congressmen, representatives, chairmen of the Fed, vice presidents or presidents, these people must be special. These people must know how the world should work, how to organize society. How can that be the case? It rests on the foundation that people are ignorant and selfish and aggressive and violent and we need people in power to keep them in check. The irony is that those people in power were supposedly put there by those very same selfish, immoral people. So how is it that a single person cannot rule themselves, cannot make basic decisions about what is safe to eat, what is safe to drink, who to marry, how to fish, how to hunt, and yet they are capable of making decisions of voting for someone who is knowledgeable in economics, in foreign policy, in monetary policy, in education. <laughs> How is that possible? It's not possible. Rule yourself. Stop worrying about who sits on the throne. It's irrelevant to your life. Pay them no mind. The sociopath cannot wreak havoc and evil if no one pays attention to him. He is no threat to society. He only becomes a threat when people hallucinate him to have power over them. That's when he becomes a threat. Don't worry about the control freaks. They will destroy themselves. So please, I urge all of you, rule yourselves. That's all we can reasonably do. And raise your kids well.
peacefully, morally, compassionately, kindly. That's how you make the world a better place. Not through politics. Not through the state. Thank you everyone for watching. This is PeacefulAnarchism.com Wishing all of you have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye. Enjoy the beautiful nature.